"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the park, not a carney was stirring, though carney's dogs barked. The coveralls hung in the trailers with care in hopes that old carney claws soon would be there. Carney children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of funnel cakes danced in their heads. And Vicky in her flannels and my and my briefs had just started looking for acid relief. When out of the midway there arose such a sound, I sprang to my feet to see what had gone down. Away to the window I flew like a flash. If big crowds were coming, I wanted their cash. The mood on the steel of the carney ride fleet gave a glimmer of hope to this wandering freak. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but an eight-seat golf cart filled with bratwurst and beer, with a tall, lanky driver whose slick, greasy hair left no shred of doubt, Carney Claus was right there. Quicker than swamp rats, his lackeys they came, and he swore and he cussed, and he called them by name. Now Lenny, now Jimbo, now Daryl and Vicky, on Omar and Elroy, out Bubba and Trixie. Well, to the little duck pond, to the rigged basketball. Now get to work, get to work, get to work, y'all. What a small mice that on the bright color wheel spin when they smell the sweet Limburger run and dive in. So out to the midway, those lackeys they flew with a cart full of beer and old carny claws too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard in the dark the hammering and banging of work in the park. But as I grabbed my pants and was spinning around, through the trailer door, Carney Claus came with a clown. He was dressed all in twill, in both yellows and blues, and his arms were all covered with various tattoos. A carton of Marlboros he had slung on his back, and he coughed and he wheezed as he opened the pack. His eyes, oh, how bloodshot, his chest, oh, how hairy. His fondness for scotch made his nose like a cherry. His tobacco-stained mouth was scrunched up in a grin, and his carny claws breath smelled of vodka and gin. The butt of a cig was clenched between his two teeth, and it dropped silvery ashes on the stubble beneath. He had two tattoos that read, Mother and Nellie, and a hula girl that danced when he jiggled his belly. He was leathery and tan from his days in the sun, and I stood there in awe of the son of a gun. A wink of his eye and an offer of beer made me awfully glad Carney Claus had come here. He spoke not a word, and yet I heard the splatter as he stepped round the trailer to empty his bladder. And laying his empties inside of the seat, dear Carney Claus started to make his retreat. He sprang to his cart with his lackeys in tow while his helpers made angels in fresh yellow snow. But I heard him proclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas, dear carnies, and to all a good night.